Hi there. If you want to try to reproduce this Apple symbol, the looped square, which is the Apple command symbol in macOS Sonoma, I'm going to show you how. Let's quickly get into how you can see it and start to use it. First thing is at the top right of the screen to part of the window, which is just up here, the country code there where I've got CA because I'm in Canada. If I click on that drop down window, you can see that there is a number of keyboards that you can select. Let me just bring that up again so you can see them. So that's really the area that you want to be looking at. I'm going to be selecting the show emoji and symbols. So if I click on that, you'll see that the emoji and symbols window opens up. There's a much quicker way of doing that. And that is just typing the key command, control, command, and then space. So if I close this here and I type control, command, space, it brings up that window as well. So this is the window we need to be in. Hopefully you can see it big enough. So what we're then going to be doing is looking down this left hand side here. We need what we call the technical symbols. So the way to get the technical symbols to show is just here at the top of the screen, click on the little drop down arrow and go to customize list. And then the customize list option allows you to scroll through that. And you'll see that one of them is the technical symbols just here. There are also a number of very useful additional keyboards and indeed a number of uh, additional scripts from other uh, areas of the world. But what we're after is this one here, which says technical symbols. So click on that and click on done. And that will then allow you to click on the technical symbols, which has appeared at the bottom of this list just here. If I click on that, the very first symbol here is the looped square, which is what Apple uses. Now, just in case you don't use this window very often. Just down here, you can see a, a variety of the different versions of that looped square. And if you click on each one, you can see which font that carries. So you can have a look at all of those and maybe decide that one from a particular font is the one that you like. There's a font which is actually embedded in your system and it's called Apple Symbols, believe it or not. So it should be in the Apple's Symbols font. So you can find it there. So I've got the window open for my text document. I can simply go into the character viewer and I should be able to just double click. And that brings up, as you can see, the symbol in the window here. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it clearer. If I double click on any on the right hand side down here, I think one of these is Apple symbols. Let's just double click and you can see the different shapes come in and you can choose whichever one you like. And that should be more or less true for any of the text editing windows that you might be using pages or keynote or numbers or anything like that. That's the way to get that particular symbol up on your screen. So hopefully that is of use to you. Just make sure you leave a like so other people see it and then and you can subscribe if you like. I do tend to put Apple help type content on this channel. So if you want to be able to type that symbol, that's the way to do it. Good luck. Thanks for watching.